I know uh, how great the MRG is and, and how big of an influence they have in our state. And so to be uh, asked to work alongside them is a great honor, and I thank them for doing that. Um, I've been the president of the local chapter of the NAACP since January 13, 2013. Yay. And, and really, thank you. And that whole time, I think the MRG has been there as a partner, as an inspiration. Uh, I, I used to go to these summer uh, parties uh, over there in Old Major Park uh, periodically. I didn't go every year, but as a youth, you know, I would show up sometimes for my kids. So people knew, I knew, and so I understood uh, that there had been people working for social justice for many years before I even got into the game. And so it's good to know that and to see that this is something that we can continue. And so what I've learned from my participation since becoming president of the NAACP and working as a partner with the MRG is that the MRG is all about creating opportunities. It's really it's about creating opportunities for training for growth, for personal growth, and for business and uh, organizational growth in our state. Uh, and one of the things that it also gives is the opportunity for cross-pollination. And I say that with Beyond Talks is in wow. the room, so it's kind of funny, but you know, I just <laughs> got that joke. But anyway, <laughs> the cross-pollination is about the cross, the idea that we're in this fight together. That yes, that there are LGBT groups doing work. There are African Americans doing work. There are women led groups doing work. We need to understand that when we better understand their work, it informs our work and that we can together lift up the ship. And so I think that's what the MRG represents and that in their vision. Uh, uh, 40 years ago, 1976, uh, I was actually. Living in South America, my parents were kind of wild. You know, they they, they were they were disappointed in what was going on in the United States and wanted to seek their fortune elsewhere. But at the same time, I think a lot of people were disappointed at that time. And, and 40 years ago, uh, I think the the founders of the MRG got together and and said, "What could they do?" Uh, and it's, I'm happy that they stayed local and that they pool their resources because even though I understand my parents urge to find a paradise and move away from all this, there's a lot of work to be done. And, and so I thank the MRG for sticking around and doing that work. So uh, without any further ado, I would like to just uh, thank anyone or recognize any grantees who might be in the room. If you've ever received a grant from the MRG as an organization or as a uh, leader of an organization, please raise your, raise your hand. Wow. Yes. yes. So as you see, the MRG has done a lot of work, has touched a lot of people's lives. And I imagine each one of those hands has uh, rip, ripple effects into our community statewide. And, uh, and so if you have attended an MRG event ever, <laughs> Before this one, raise your hand. Yeah, all right. See, so we got we got the home team in the house. You know, it's good to see that. Thank you. And then, you know, so as you see, all of us coming together is what the MRG represents. And so we're going to be having a raffle later on, and this raffle is supported by a lot of our generous supporters. And I, I'm just going to go through a list of the people who have helped uh, bring this together. And uh, so, uh, first but not sweetest, is the Sweet Life past, uh, Pastries, uh, Herb Everett, Hannah Goldrich.